We are in round 2 of the Norwich Test Tournament 2022. After round 1, Anand and Wesley So were leading the tournament and today Anand again strikes and wins today's match also and now is leading on the points table after round 2. Let's see how Anand won against his old rival Wesley Topolo. Their last match was in 2010 when they were playing each other in the World Championship match. And Alan was the defending champion and he also won in 2010. So now they are again playing after so many years. Let's see how Anand defeated Topolo. So Topolo is white. He plays his favorite move d4. Anand responds with d5. c4 the queen's gambit. And here Anand plays d to c4 the queen gambit accepted. Normally we would expect he would play c6 the slab defense or e6 the qgd that is the queen's gambit decline. But he goes for d to c4. White plays e4 takes control of the center and is preparing to take the pawn. Black defends the pawn. White is putting pressure on this pawn chain. d6. And this is actually all theory. Knight c3, b4. The knight goes back. Now this pawn is again unprotected. So even though you lost your tempo here, black has lost guard over this pawn. Bishop to a6. Queen c2. And here it looks like white gave a free pawn. But he just developed his pieces and now he takes the c4 pawn. So finally white gets his pawn. And here they just do some developing moves. And here black plays c5. It looks like he's giving this pawn free. But he just wants to develop his pieces. And actually if you take this pawn there's a rook to c8 and get pins the bishop. Th this is what happened in the game. White goes on to defend the bishop. Gets out of the pin. He catches a pawn. But black gets what he wants. He develops his pieces. And now even though he lost a pawn, he has some activity and is having compensation for it. Knight fd2. Maybe he wants to support the knight. If you move this knight, then this pawn would be captured by black. So he defends the knight. Queen b4. Queen e2. Black will just start putting pressure on that pawn. He exchanges that knight. Now this pawn is again under attack. So he plays b3. f6. Here black removes his back rank weakness. Rook a2. Now white is just playing defensive. He's just trying to defend that pawn. And black has a lot of activity. He has now locked this pawn. This pawn cannot move forward. He has played a5. h3. Queen b4. And sooner or later he'll get his knight and capture the pawn. Queen e1. Rook c3. Rook b2. Rook d8. And look at white's pieces here. They're just stuck on the first and second rank. And it looks like black is very active here. White will just remain defending this pawn. Rook db1, knight d7, queen e2, rook b8, rook d1, knight c5. So he gets his knight here finally. White is like just moving his rooks and is not looking forward to doing anything other than defending that pawn. Rook d3, d5, rook d5, knight c4, rook into d1, queen into d1. And here black takes advantage of the spin. Here you lose the rook, so that's why white goes rook a1. Knight c3 and here white plays queen d6 offering a queen trip and Wesley Topolo loses this game. Can you guess how? Topolo actually lost on time and in the standard game you would not expect anyone to lose on time. So basically what happened was the time control is 2 hours for the first portion of the game that is still 40 moves. And Topolo ran out of time just on the 37th minute. And after the 40 moves you would get a 10 second increment. So it was a little unfortunate for Topolo, but you have to also save your time because the clock also plays an important role in the game. So as I said, Anand won and is leading the standings after round 2 and he also comes in the top 10 of the live federating list and is currently 9th right now. So a very good achievement and Anand again just shows that age is just a number. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Edric Masters. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.